Hello, adventurers. It, hold on. <laughs> In every adventuring party, there comes a topic that we all have, but none of us wish to share. That none of us truly know about each other. A thing of mystery, wonder, detail, something that will give more insight into who you truly are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WTF is your background. WTF is your background. WTF is your background. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Stig Weasel. And I'm Mel. And we are here to be... This is a practice test thing for uh, this show that I think we're trying to make. Or, yeah, we're, we're shipping this pilot around to the different... <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, we're going to studio to studio to... To the top. Out. Oh, we're going we're gonna to be asking Matt Mercer himself uh, whether or not this is actually a good idea. So, uh, the, 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 the concept of WTF, WTF is your background or WTF are you? Who the fuck are you? You didn't tell me there was going to be swears. Sorry. <laughs> who the fuck are you or who the what, what the fuck is your background? Who the fuck? Is it WTFRU yeah. like the letters? No, that's HTW. Who the fuck is HTW? You know. What, what the fuck is it are how? you? No, who the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Who? Who has a W? Yeah, who is a W? See, I get my who's in my house mixed up. You have a W, yeah. Mr. Weasel. Thank you. Appreciate that. So, the concept is Mal. Yes. Is that uh, each D and D character comes with their own little backstory, their backgrounds, like who they are, where yeah. they're from, but none of that really comes out until this, it matters in the story. Yeah, yeah. A character's background also plays a deep importance into who they are as a character. True. Like you could be born a noble, but you could be an extremely dirty person because of like how clean things were at your house. Yeah, you'd be like. Eh. I, Freak that! I hate I hate being clean. I'm just I'm uh, gonna, literally. I, I thought you meant like I'm just whatever, man. I'm I'm living it. I'm living it up. Living My parents up. were both preachers, mm -hmm. and as soon as Cler I could, turn as, both clerics, yeah. as soon as I turned eighteen, I jumped out of that window, <laughs> and you know I was just running, living on the road. He's been a dirty wizard this whole time. Dirty wizard. Yeah. <laughs> a cute uh, affinity. affinity to fire. Yeah. yeah. Something yeah, like a hot. You could you could have been born like a uh, an elf with a very knowledgeable insight into uh, the the trade uh, the trade of uh, particular items and how much things are sold or how yeah. much things has to go for. My parents were in a shop. Mm -hmm. My parents were in a shop. Yeah, and they were they were well known. They were my parents were in a shop and they were well known shopkeepers. They were beloved by the the village and the people around them. And you saw your parents as like. Idols of your of idols of your 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 eye, and you decide I'm gonna open up a shop one day. The only thing, but the only thing I can do is that I'm really good at cooking. Yeah. So you become a cooking artisan of a guild. You open your own place and you invent the the taco. You invent the taco. Character backgrounds matter, and inside of Dungeons and Dragons E5 edition, which we'll be basing our. Uh, oh, we're not using four. No, no, we're not using four. Okay. I don't think four has to go into, into too much detail. Yeah, I know. Okay. Why not? Uh, so you can use the E five edition of Dungeons and Dragons to uh, basically base our uh, character building thing off of. So in Dungeons and Dragons E five, uh, mainly in the player's handbook, which Mal has right there. I do. Yeah. And right here. And right there. There's two. That's background. Real smooth, but on the back, it's got kind of a rough thing going on. I don't know why, but it I feels like it. nice. It feels it's like rough and then smooth. It's got more grip. I guess that's true. It feels weird because I don't really like touching cardboard. I like touching cardboard. Mm. Thanks, Nintendo Labo. <laughs> Inside the Dungeon Master's Player Handbook and Guide that comes with, uh, as you know, a good more a good amount of uh, preset character backgrounds. Yeah, you have you have races, you have classes, you have backgrounds. Races, classes, backgrounds, backgrounds such as a sage. You can go. You can use the Dungeon Master's Guide to determine whether or not. Uh, sorry, Player turn, Handbook. Determine. Turn to page. To play, yeah, we're what, not. We're not. What, what page is that? I don't know. Like, Dude. Go, go, go into the very back, look up in the index, type it, look in background or something. Control F in the book. If you had D and D Beyond, hashtag not sponsored. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, here we go. Name, which we all have. Sex, which we all have. Some of us don't. 
In this context, sex means gender, oh, I think. okay. Oh, Maybe. it just gives you like an average weight and stuff? Yeah, for most things, yes. Oh, you can do like a weight? You can just roll over your weight? It's like, how fat am I? How fat am I? I'm over 400 pounds. In the Dungeon Master's book, it gives you a handy list of all these things that you can have in your dungeon in what kind of character you want to build. Instead of like having to choose it yourself, you can roll for it using dice. But in this case, we're going to be coming up with these characters' backgrounds on our own. Today, using the handy dandy website, who the fuck is my D&D character, uh, not sponsored, we're going to be determining, determining... Is it even a thing that could sponsor? Oh, I, don't, I don't really know. <laughs> we're going to be determining a character's gender, name, and background. Or we're going to be filling out a character's background. Okay. All right. No and then we'll see where they take us. Like, the, the, they're just going to embody our bodies, and we're just going to go, yes, that's me. <laughs> All right. I'm, let's, let's see how well we do this, okay? Okay. All right. Well, we're going Doing, right now. Who's going first? So we're, going, we're going for 11 minutes. We're good. All right. So... Let's see, first up. Let me up. get out my colored pencils, which I can't erase, so this is a bad idea. <laughs> okay, is this okay. You or me? This is actually pretty good. So, no, we're, uh, both of us are going to be oh, working, working together, together to uh, fill out this character. Okay. Okay, so, <laughs> the first character we have here, I'm going to make a... Hold on, I gotta make a screenshot of this. So the first character that we have here from Who the Fuck is Our D Who the Fuck is My D and D character is a compassionate half elf ranger okay. from a strict monastery who's mo who moonlights as a private investigator. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> wow, right. that's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, I didn't uh, expect so much detail yeah. from just them. He's compassed. The character is a compassionate is it he? half elf. Or do we choose? Well, we get to choose whether or not it's a he or a she. Compassionate half elf ranger from a strict monastery who moonlights as a private investigator. So we're thinking Robin Hood Batman. Compassionate Robin Hood Batman, but they're compassionate. So they're. Hmm. That's that's Robin Hood. Robin Hood's compassionate. Robin, yeah, 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 yeah. He steals from the rich, gets to the poor. Yes, uh, like a, a religious Robin Hood, basically. Yeah. A religious Robin Hood from a who moonlights as a private investigator. He's very sneaky. Well. Damn it, well, I'm, I'm already going he. Apparently, right now... That's a she. She's a she. She? She. Okay, she is a... She's very compassionate. Very, very... She, she loves children. She investigates missing children cases. Okay. She's a, she's, a, she's a private investigator for missing children. Something has happened to the children in her village, and she wants to know what's going on. She's willing to get all the details. She's determined. Mm -hmm. she's, comp she's determined, and she wants to save those kids. Yeah. Okay, but she's also a ranger, so she's good like out and about in the in the in the in forests the around the the village. Okay. Okay. If I'm around the village, let's call this village. Um, where's she from? Uh, uh shit. We need um, a place for this. It's uh, uh oh, I could just I could I could out. word spit. Let's uh, let's let's let's, let's uh, name, name I can say like Gelspar. Gelspar. Isn't that a place like somewhere in like another I don't place? I think I think Velspar is like a paint. <laughs> Velspar. All right, let's go. Um, let's go Gelspar. Okay. She's from Gelspar, uh, okay. a town known for its uh, uh, flowers. Yes. Uh, uh, it's it's tallest building. It's over um, uh, ten feet. Ten feet. No, no, wait. Okay, it's, I mean, tall, it's a village. It's, it's tallest. It's tallest buildings over. It's over twenty feet tall. I was gonna say ten feet is not that tall. Yeah, twenty feet tall is the tallest building. That's only two stories. <laughs> That's fine. It's a village. It takes a village. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Private investigator. And uh, I'm thinking like bandits are a big deal here around. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. she's like good around the, the village, mm -hmm. and and like literally around it the the perimeter. Mm -hmm. She's all, she, but oh, we, we forgot to, like, we got the compassionate part and the ranger part, but for, we forgot the a monastery. A monastery. She has, she goes to church. She, she what, What's a monastery, by the way? Monastery? Yeah, um, I think it's another word for church. Okay, gotcha. Uh, oh, she works for the church. She's, she's a nun. She's a nun. Nun ranger? She's a nun ranger. Oh my God. She's a nun 
um, who, who who is secretly a private investigator trying to figure out what happened to the kids at the monastery. Um, apparently it's like a monk building. Oh, really? Monks are nuns. Okay, that works though. Okay, thank God. She's a nun. Okay. She's trying to figure out what happened to the kids who keep disappearing when they go to the monastery. And she's also a private investigator. She's been she's been tasked. Well, she well she is from the monastery. Well, well, what if it's outside mm-hmm. of the village and like uh, kids are being persuaded to do bad things mm-hmm. on the outside by these by this outside negative force? An outside negative force. The int. I just made that up. It sounds like a tree. Outside negative. I was like, I thought you were spelling the words I was saying. I'm like, no. that doesn't make sense. Oh, outside E. I just, I just called it the int. Or the uh, onf. The outside negative force. Um, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Um, let's see. So I was, you know, mm-hmm. she she wants all the kids to be safe. religious she, and she's, safe. She's, she's not perfect. She's kind of... I, w- I was thinking she's a little fanatical. I was thinking she was kind of brash because of a. Uh, that too. Because she's from a street monastery. She's like, eh, fuck you guys. But she is. She does. Okay, that work. I mean, I mean, I don't. Mm-hmm. Huh. You, you know, it's like a lot of times it's like, oh, they're they're a cool character. They don't like the religion. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, was, I was like, what if she's like really into it? Mm-hmm. And it's like. It's like, I'm going to kill all of you and get these kids to church. I'm going to get these kids to church. But where are the kids at? That's where you got to find out. Where are the kids? She's, mo- the she's kids? moonlighting as a... Uh, Private investigator. Pri- P.I. She's a P.I. Trying to find out where those kids are. <laughs> what if she's a nun? That, it's um, what, what if she's a Gail's Bar Special Victims Unit. <laughs> do, do. <laughs> these victims are real. Sex based offenses are considered especially heinous in Gail's Bar City. The dedicated detective singular is dedicated to investigate these vicious felons. Known member of an elite squad known as your special victims unit. This is her story. Uh, <laughs> you see dragon. It's <laughs> like in Wizard City. Uh, Wizard City's corrupt. Uh, God damn it. These fucking kids. <laughs> She's a private investigator. Okay. So. She, she works for the church. She's very religious. Mm-hmm. She works for the church. I'm trying to figure out. She's, she's compassionate. She cares about the church and the kids. Yes. So, she's compassionate. Cares about the church and the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, how do we work in the fact that she's also a private investigator? Well, uh, well, like I said, she's she's a ranger, so she's good at tracking things. Yeah. And finding out about things. So this is like, it's like, yeah. I used to do ranger stuff, but that was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. That's back in my wild days. Yeah. Now. Back when I was out in the forest, in the in the caves behind my house. Yeah, caves behind my house. I lived there with a bear. His name was Rufus. Everything I know is made Rufus for some reason. Rufus. His name was Rufus. Rufus the bear. That was a long time ago. He was, was a dog. How, we oh, called him Rufus the bear. Rufus the bear. Oh, or the bear. She, oh, okay. Now she's now she's got a pet. Yeah, now she's got a pet. Rufus the bear. Is, is the dog that's a bear? No, a yeah, bear? no, no. His name is Rufus the bear. Rufus the bear. <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> Rufus the okay. She, now she has a pet dog. Rufus the bear. Sweet. This that's her, that's, awesome. her, that's her animal <laughs> companion. A, animal companion. Yeah, Rufus the bear. She's a ranger. <laughs> oh fuck! I love this. I love this so much. This is fun. Um. So, okay. Animal companion. Back here. Is, is Rufus still alive? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, we gotta include him in the story. Yeah, he wasn't happened. until I said that. Yes. <laughs> so I gave him that name. Do fucking write this shit down. You gotta oh, oh, hold on. So, I mean, it's all being... Hold on, let me get a color. This is fun. This is fun, dude. <laughs> da bear. Compassionate elf. Yeah. She loves kids. Mm-hmm. She loves her religion. Yeah. She is a private investigator. Has a pet dog named yeah. Rufus the Bear. Yeah. And he, he helps solve he helps mysteries, solve. and they drive around to different places. It, this is, a, this is and there's a ghost, but he's they don't have cars. <laughs> In this world, they don't have cars. They say it was a ghost that haunted the place, and she reveals that it's not a ghost. 
It's old man Obadiah. He's old man Obadiah. God damn it, Obadiah! We used to go to church every Sunday. Yeah. And then God killed my kid. Then oh God, damn, shit! God damn, Paylor betrayed me. Betrayed me. Paylor. <laughs> Paylor betrayed me. He left me for dead. They said to film the Paylor. And I didn't. And I did. Oh, wait, and yeah, I got yeah. shit for it. <laughs> Fuck this. They didn't re-res me or my wife. They... She helped me defend the payload. I lost my wife and my two kids. I don't know why they were there. They said not to bring the kids, but you know, whole family. Whole family. It's a family affair. How often do you get to go somewhere like family, that? It's, it sounds like it's your problem that your kids were there. Well, fuck you. I'm evil. Old man Jebediah. What was his name? Obadiah? Obadiah got old man Obadiah. We're creating like character after character. Oh, this is fucking great. I love this. There's more short for Obadiah than the person. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all character doesn't have a name yet. Oh, yeah, she doesn't have a name. We don't even know what she looks like. We know she's a half elf. Half elves look like humans and elves, and they're kind of betrayed. Like, like in, in the actual story, half uh-huh. elves don't fit in with humans. They don't fit in with elves because elves see them more as humans, and humans see them more as elves and any other thing. Yeah, um... So I guess she found solace. Something happened in her past, when you gotta find out, yeah. that made her find souls in the church, and... Well, let's see. Um, she... Her father was an elf. Yes. Her mother was a human. Yes. Her father left before she was born. And I assume he's still alive somewhere because he's, he's an elf. He but her mother alive. is not alive anymore no. because elves live a lot longer elves than humans. Like 700 years, man. So it's yeah. not that she, she got killed by anybody, but she's just dead. She's dead. So it's just kind of like, ugh. It's like, I'm cursed with this extra long life and my mom's dead. And I don't even know who my dad was. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so she turns to the church. Turns to the church, but like we said before, she had wilder years. Yeah, yeah, she before. did. She used to like, you know, kill a bear, kill a bear, wrestle a bear, talk to a bear, tussle a bear. Uh, did a lot of things with bears for some reason. So many bears on a on a grill. Yeah, bear bears on a grill. Cook bears in a grill. Gr- you ever have, you ever had bear grill steak? I yeah, I love or bear grill gr- bear steak. I love those gr- <laughs> grills. <laughs> You ever, heard, you ever had bear grill steak by gr- bear grills? Yeah. Grilled bear steak by bear grills? Well, obviously, that's the only place you can grill bears on a bear grill. <laughs> you ever tried to grill a bear without a bear grill? It's just a mess. <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. it's, it's, it's like, you can barely, bear, you can you can barely, barely grill, grill without a bear grill. You can barely grill on any other grill. It's not a bear grill. <laughs> if it ain't a bear grill, you're barely grilling. <laughs> God damn it. Trademark that. T- that, uh, that Ding. Hat trademark that. Trademark that. You can barely grill. All right. That's our new bear. story. We're doing bear grills. Bear grills? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. What, what did we say about her background? Oh, she wrestled bears. and She was, yeah. she was a tough lady. She's, she's tough. She's tough, but she's compassionate. Uh-huh. She's very compassionate wherever she She used goes. to just go wherever she wanted, and then she found this village. Mm-hmm. Found this village. You know, it's like, it makes you think, you know? She found, she makes you think. She finds the Lord, the pay Lord. Like, she, she, she was lost, because she didn't know who her dad was. Her, met, her mom died when she was young. She was lost. She couldn't find, she had nowhere to go. But yeah. guess who took her in? The Church of the Midnight Sun. The Church of the Moon. Is that what it says? No, it's a... Oh, you have a church? Monastery whose moonlights... Oh, no, this is a strict monastery. It didn't, it didn't say who. Oh, she moonlights. She moonlights as a private investigator. Okay. What, is, what does moonlighting mean? Moonlight means you do things at night. Okay. As somebody else. Yeah. Why are you in a place like this? Oh, don't talk to me like that. Betsy, you, Betsy you know I come around here specifically to talk to you. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Things have changed but, since then. But I still got feelings for you, Betsy. I haven't changed that much. If feelings were an ocean... Yeah. I understand. It wouldn't be a lot of ocean. It'd be very small. I would say, I feel exactly the same way about you as I did all those years ago. You haven't changed a bit, Betsy. I don't love him anymore. <laughs> oh, she always sings she like always that. She sings like an angel. <laughs> The same mm-hmm. like an always on, uh, always on point with those lyrics. And he's here again, and I don't like him. No, Betsy. 
It's like she's singing it for me. <laughs> Music to my ears, specifically. All right, let's change the story. We're talking about Betsy. Okay, now we're talking about Betsy. <laughs> okay, so write this down. Oh, okay. Let me get another one, okay. a blue one. Okay. okay. Half elf ranger. Okay. Okay. Half elf ranger. She has a com- compassionate about children. Okay. Very compassionate. She she loves kids because she didn't really have a childhood growing up because she was a part of the church the whole time and she was wild. She was, <sighs> she was very she was in she part of the strict monastery. Oh, she, wait, wait, what if she left the monastery that she was a part of originally, became wild and thought, like, I need to go back. I, I can't live like this. Um, I don't know. I kind of like that they, mm-hmm. they find her kind of like, you sing, you sing Les Miserables? No. Never mind. I'm singing like Jean Valjean. He's like, he's like a thief. And then the priest takes him in and then he performs. All right. I like that. I like that. Um. All right, write that down. No, oh, okay. I stole a loaf of bread. And I became a sinner. When I was a sinner. When I was a young sinner. All right, we're switching. Uh, we're talking about Jean Valjean from... Les Miserables. <laughs> Les Miserables. <coughs> Sorry, that was a throat bubble. Holy fuck. It's a good movie. All right, write that down, okay. Uh, Compassionate about kids. Yeah, because, you know, she's a half-elf, so... Kids doesn't compassion about kids doesn't know uh, mother no doesn't know father mother mm-hmm. died when she was she was twelve no that's too young mother died when she was sixteen mother died when she was fifteen and a half fifteen and a half then <laughs> mother died when she was fifteen when her when her mother died she lost. When her mother, when her mother died, when your mother died, when your mother died, your mother's dead, your mother's dead. <laughs> she died, she died. She, she died, she died, she died. When her mother died, she lost her sense of um, purpose. Yeah, and her home. Her home, yeah, sense of purpose and home. mom can't afford anything because she's dead. She's dead. So she's just become a wanderer. What's that say at the bottom? I said didn't know father. Didn't know father. Mother died. Mother died. Mother died. Your mother died. Your mother died. Your mother died. <laughs> Your mother's dead. At fifteen and a half. Fifteen and a half. It's more like fifteen and four fifths, but don't worry about it. Lost home, purpose, mm-hmm. and sense of self. I don't know why I'm doing this with so many colors. I don't know why you're doing that either. Nobody can even see it. <laughs> Well, we're, well, at least we know. The thing is, we don't know. Okay, so, okay, we're making the background. We don't know what she looks like yet. We don't know her name or what she looks like. Yet. Um, That'll come. I'll come in just a bit. I think she, I think she might have two names because one for an alias as a private detective, private investigator, and two or, as she's a, she's got she's got a good Christian name, but she's also got her wild name. Ooh, the Christian name. Ooh, the wild name. She she's like uh, no 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 it's not it's not do that just yet Mary no I'm joking on it Mary Elizabeth uh, lost home parent and sense of self I said purpose but Pur- that's fine that's you're fine. looking at it upside down sorry lost home purpose sense of self um, found solace in the church in what late twenties early twenties yeah. Uh, that works. Late to early twenties. Late to early. Late, late to early. At 20s. The short twenties. <laughs> late to early twenties. You mean in the middle? It was. It was somewhere between twenty and thirty. In that time, children went missing while she was. Oh, Liz. Liz well, what, what, hmm? well, I mean, we, we the the church deals with all the orphans and the mm-hmm. kids, and they're like try to get them into church. Mm-hmm. And then they start to go off, and they start to do bad stuff, and they get mixed in with their own crowds. Mm-hmm. And she's got to go deal with the oh, deal so with these sinner bandits. Oh, so the kids are the problem? No, they're being they're being. Oh, the bandit the bandits are taking the kids. They're being uh, persuaded, inf- influenced, influenced. Okay, 
By dark forces. By dark forces, the ether. The, the ether, excuse me. The, the, M, the, the M16. M16, in my son. Tell him I don't know, show him. Became a private investigator when children. This, pay, this pencil's not good. Why oh, was he right in that? In... PI? When... That's short for private investigator. Oh, shit, really? That's why they say private eye. Oh, I got a Magnum PI in my pocket. Became PI Two. when children started disappearing from the monastery. So, um, how does. Okay, she's compassionate. How yeah. does she. Okay, so private investigation. Yeah, I think we, we covered the basics. Yeah. Like, uh, what, is, what does she sound like? Does she sound like, is she gruff? Is she hard boiled? Is Well, I mean, ass? you know. Is she soft spoken? When you're talking about elves, yeah. I feel like Ooh. you don't want to go like, yeah. hey, I'm an elf. What you going at? Unless it's like a Chicken Santa elf. Santa. But we're not dealing with that. Well, Santa's an elf one, right? You know, he's got his elves. He got elf ears, yeah. Sounds the largest elf ever known. So she has kind of like this voice. It's kind of like a whisper. Whisper. Because she... Whisper. Well, she's in a monastery. She's in so a monastery. they can't really talk loud. She keep quiet. And she's in the night doing sneaky shit. So she's also quiet for that. She's got a, she's got a, she's got a person that she talks to. She's got a, she's got an inside. So it, she so it's name? just kind of weird to talk any louder than that. She just kind of feels weird about it. Mm -hmm. she, oh, she just feels weird about talking any loud. Okay, okay. She's that's like, like oh, that's, that's, that's another that's another character quirk. She kind of she kind of whispers a bit. She's like ah. Okay, write down. Uh, she whispers, mainly whispers. <laughs> I was pulling my ear, but it's not long enough. Whispers. Whispers. Uh, she um. It's okay, she whispers. But what does she sound like? Does she sound like... She's got... Well, she, I mean, she's got... I, I mean, I she, realize that... Is, we, she, is, we, she, is she a real Laura Bailey? Us being men... Is she a real Don't necessarily Laura? have very feminine voices. What, what do you mean? I got a good feminine voice. I'm yeah, me Jackson. too. I'm Michael Jackson. Oh. Um, I'm just yeah, kidding. Too soon, man. Okay, she's, does she have a real Laura Bailey kind of voice? Or... Laura, ba Laura Bailey as Lust from Full Metal Alchemist, or her voice sounds exactly like this. <laughs> or is she an Ashley Johnson from uh, uh, Last of Us? Ooh. Or is she, or is she a Marisha? Hi, Ray? I'm Ashley Johnson, your resident monster. I would like to rage. Okay, we we know that she whispers. She she has a soft voice. Yeah, soft voice, but is it strict? A strict soft voice. Well, I mean she. She's Does, from a strict monastery. She's from a strict place, and she's got strong sense of right and wrong. Mm -hmm. Wrong, strong sense of right and wrong. Now. So she's like, Shall we? well, better do what I say. Better do what I say, kid. There's five police officers outside of the building right now. Right now. And they've all got crossbows aimed at your head, sir. Crossbows and arrows. So there's a wizard to your mother, loving weapon, robe, mother, loving. Shoot you! With my own crossbow! Isn't that right? Oh, what was his name? <laughs> Rufus! Rufus here has a crossbow on his back, Look aimed him. right at your head! <laughs> and every time he barks, it fires! It's fired twice now, at least! <laughs> like one bolt goes, ah! ah. <laughs> one goes, one He's a little excited! <laughs> Calm down, Rufus. Rufus. When he growls, it shoots out a spray like a like God a machine gun. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dead. Hmm. Another case solved. Another case solved. Thanks to me. <laughs> thanks me. She's fairly confident when she when, when she solves the case. She's fairly confident. Like she's really very excited that she happened. Case solved. Case solved. Case. This case is closed. closed. Or as they say in Japanese, Detective Conan. So what's next? Um, next is determine what does she look like. I'm assuming that she does like in she does wear a nun's outfit during yeah. the day, mm -hmm. full nun's outfit, white chest. A little is is what? Okay, what's her build? I think she's very, very. Is she soft? Slim. She's slim. Yeah, because most. Because she's. She's half. Know. She's half elf. Half elves are slim. Yeah, there's but there's humans, light. Humans are, human shape. So what? she she'd be a more muscular half elf. Yeah. So, and she's and she's say, got like a nun outfit, mm -hmm. but it's like badass. Badass nun, yeah. 
got if, the, got if, that one, if got that, one if, slit down the side. If Batman was a nun. Damn, son. I'm rock hard right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not. It's like... It does the battering. She wears the, the traditional nun hat during the day where it's like that white thing and it's like it pulls it's back. It's like the, the hood. Yeah. So, nope. she, so she's like... She's, she's got a hood on? Well, you know, like the nuns have the, the little thing on the, over their face. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about... Um, it's like a cowl. What is those things called? A habit? What's a nun hat called? A habit? What do you call a nun's hat? In the traditional Roman uh, Catholic and... That order, the habit. You're right. It's called a habit. Yeah, she wears a traditional nun habit. So I was thinking like that, mm-hmm. but it's an Assassin's Creed hood. No, get that out of there. She's not, not literally that. It's all black. It's, yeah, it's all black. Because she's a nun. Yeah. So she's like, um, so it kind of makes a cape in the back. Okay. Because <sighs> she's a ranger. She's a ranger. Does she have a, uh, okay. She, okay. So she's got a bow, she's I got, assume. No, she keep no during the day she doesn't have the bow on her, but during the night she right. does. Like during the day she's completely none, but at night she, her best case. So she has so she has none during the day. She's none during the day. She, she has, has some at night. Yes, exactly. She's none during the day and some at night. You and your fucking puns. That's why I decided to make you my business partner. Yeah, it's white here, black hat. A little bit of uh, there's a there's a little bit of cleavage for just for just as a reminder for her younger days. But other where, than where that, she keeps her her, her holy symbol right here. Her holy symbol right there. It, it falls in between her cleavage. She has to pull it out every now and then. She she, gotta, she goes, forgive me, Lord, for what I'm about to do. Papa. A real legless type. Um, no, holding the bow sideways. Damn, son. Like a real gangster. Gangsta's Paradise. All right. So, but when she's in her uh, in a private investigator's outfit, it's an all black ranger yeah. outfit because she has yeah. to be sneaking around during the night. Yeah. And uh, it's leather. I was saying she's wearing some tall leather boots. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. All right, come on. Okay. I like it. I wasn't thinking about it, but I like it now. Should they be heels or boots? Um, I think they're like. I prefer. I prefer for ranger. They're boots. like combat heels. Yeah. Those like real solid heels. Let me see that. Combat heel for a combat boot. Okay. Yeah, a real yeah, real solid a real yeah, solid. It boot. makes her a little taller. Yeah, it makes her a little taller. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I like it. Tall leather boots. Like like, like, a, like real goth boots. Heels. Yeah. Yeah. She, uh, there's like a holy symbol on like on the shoulders of her, her it's, on, it's on the back. It's on, yeah, it's on the back between, between the shoulder blades. Yeah, with 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 the uh, yeah, their her holy symbol okay. for wherever monastery that she goes to on the back. And um, does she wear like special gauntlets, gloves? Sure, just Cause, for because she's a, a Robin Hood type, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, she's got like black gloves. Black gloves. No, let, let's not go all black. Let's, let's go like it's like a mix. It's like a different. It's like a dark brown. How about, how about purple? A dark blood. Uh, Dark purple. <laughs> purple? Yeah. yeah. Let's not go too far with the goth. Purple. purple. <laughs> yeah. Dark purple. Sure. All right. Dark purple um, uh, leather gloves for shooting bows. Fingerless. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so she's got that te- tactile feel. Yeah. Tactile feel. Because you kind of feel the feel of the bow. Feel the bow. Swim, 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 swim. All right. She carries a longbow. Well, I'm getting to equipment now. She carries a longbow and a crossbow. Sure. Long range and short range. What do rangers normally have on them, other than bows? They may, may have like hand axes or something, like throwing weapons. Yeah. Spears, javelins, a rapier. A little uh, short sword. A little, a little short sword, yeah, with the holy symbol. Yeah. The attached to it for that. It's like cut out in the side. Looks real cool. Looks real cool. Does he wear a hat? It's what? Like, it's like one of those CSGO mm-hmm. knives, which is like rainbow colored. Mm-hmm. What color is her rainbow color? No. I don't know. I'm just kidding. What color is her hair? I, I immediately thought red. Red? But maybe I'm thinking too much like, uh, you know, like the red-haired elf girl ranger. From where? Um, the Hobbit movie? Oh, her? Oh, okay. The uh, prequel Hobbit movie. Let's, let's, not go, let's not do it that one. I mean, not um, literally that, but that's just the first thing I thought of. How about Chestnut? Chestnut? Chestnut hair. I, I, I really like chestnut sure. hair. Sure. Chestnut hair. What color is your skin? 
Is He's it? got pa- palish skin with oh. freckles. What? Okay, she's got she's got freckles. I love that immediately. On her nose. <laughs> All right. Are you writing this down? Oh, sorry. Well, I mean, we're talking about it's recording. All right. I'm uh, just saying. Are we gonna use this later? Maybe it could be a character for a, a NPC that we run into when we play Dungeons and Dragons at some point. She wear lipstick at all? No, 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 no makeup in none outfit. Yeah, yeah, none yeah. at all. Maybe a little black, black lipstick, uh, top lip, bottom lip. Maybe. maybe. Like maybe she has like the black across the eyes. <laughs> kind of like the the war paint. As a private investigator. Sure. <laughs> I mean, she's like Batman. I'm Batman. We've discussed. She's not. She's not an investigator. She's a private investigator for like specific people. But we can change that around to be. I mean, she's she, she's whoever wants her help knows who to call. Maybe it's specifically about children. Just uh. Do it. These damn kids. Cast sending my way. Cast sendings. Cast a sending message my way. I can reply to this message. I can reply to this message. Call me. Beat me. If you want to reach me. If you, you want to message me, that's okay. okay. Oh. Message me, scribe me, if you want to reach me. <laughs> doesn't matter where, doesn't matter when. I will find the children till the very end. Through warlocks and wizards. <laughs> it's funny, because her dog's name is Rufus. Rufus. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Didn't even... Didn't even make that connection. I just started singing Kim Possible. The warlords and wizards are roll on these lizards. You know that you always can trust this nun right here. Sorry. She doesn't have a name yet. She doesn't have a name yet. A nun a no name. A, a name. She doesn't, she, doesn't have, name. she doesn't have a name. Her name is like... Sister. Sister. Name? Her name is Sister. This is her nun name. Tabitha? Sister Tabby. That sounds like a cat. Like you would name it. It's a tabaxi, yeah. A tabaxi? You would name it tabaxi, Sister Tabby, yeah. How about Abby? Sister Abby? Oh, wait, Abby is a place for nuns. Yeah, 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 an Abby, yeah. We'll name her Maria? Abby? (laughs) Sorry, that's sound of music. Damn it. How about Ilana? Ilana? No, 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 no. That's a character. With an I. That's a character from my story, so no. With an A? Yeah, it's got an A. None names. No! <laughs> Dorothy? How about Lorna? Lorna? Lorna. Okay. Sister Lorna? Lorna. Sister Lorna. L-O-R-N-A. Sister, Sister Lorna Lot. Lorna Lots. Sister that Lorna. sounds like a superhero. Sister Lorna Lots. <laughs> How about Malone? Sister Lorna Malone? What a Malone? What a Malone. Sis- okay, Sister Lorna. That's... That's Lorna. I like that, Sister Lorna. But what was her, what's her what's her last name? Let me look up a random word. How about Neris? What's up with these old ass? N a r i s. Lorna Neris. N n a i r i s. How about Lorna Neris? Neris. Okay. Lorna Neris. Sister Lorna Neris. No. Is that like Reese? Like like Reese's? Or is it like rice? Lorna Norris. That's not a word. You know Nars? No, like Nars, N-O-R-R-I-S. Try Norris. So N-E-R-R-I-S. Does that, does that, does that spell right? Oh, it's Norris. I was, I was trying to Norris. No, it would be an A. Okay, so N-A. Or N-I. N-A-I-R-R-I-S. Or N-A-I. N-A-I-R-R-I-S. <laughs> I can't spell. Okay, we'll do an S instead of an E. N A R I S E. N A R I S E. Lorna Norris. Sister. It's not Norris. It's Norris. It's not Norris. It's Norris. Okay, get it right. So, Sister Lorna Norris, private investigator. Sister Lorna Norris. So, what her pri- what's her private eye name? Um. Moonlit. Whispering night. It's like in it's night spelled with with K N I G H T. I was trying to think of like combining nut nun with Batman. Nut man. But not literally that. Nut man. Something a superhero would have. Like um, mm-hmm. um, during the day, she's a mild mannered nun who has a passion for children. But during the night, she's an investigator, a private investigator with a passion for children. Like um, oh 
Holy Night. I like it. Oh, no, ho Holy, holy Night. K and I G. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm oh, saying. Gotcha. Holy Night. I like it. The Holy Night. I am the Night. The Holy Night. I am Sister Lorna, Lorna Norris. <laughs> and this is my backstory. And this is my sidekick. And she's got like a mask on the dog. And she says, Rufus. His name is Rufus. No, shh, shh. His name is Silent Night. <laughs> no, shh. That's the joke. You motherfuckers are gonna sleep in heavenly peace. I forgot, um, let's, let's, real quick, let's describe her facial features. Uh, during the day, no makeup, kind of. Right. At night, I would say she has, like, wings on her eyes. Yeah. Actual, Probably. actual wings. No. She has, she has makeup, wings. Like, uh, no, what's, what's it I called? Know, eyelashes? Yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. She's got wing eyelashes. Uh, I think. She's, she's got magic item eyelashes, which are dead. <laughs> any, any physical scars that she has. I think she does, but they're like not visible. I mean, not visible, like okay. like on her arms from like being a ranger for so long. Yeah, I don't think there's anything like my I was beaten. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, yeah. She's yeah. just a wild child. She's a wild child, like in the old day. Wild grew child. Woo! Grew up buck wild. I grew up buck wild in these streets. Okay, so I say she has maybe one or two scars, like maybe like a like a bear claw on her. Yeah, uh, yeah. On her left arm, and maybe, maybe like maybe like that whole scar across the lip. Yeah, yeah just right. just like right here. I was I was saying over across the whole lip right there. It's right right here, cause um once I was, I fell on a tree and I bit my lip. It was real bad. I'll I'll take it. She it's fell out a tree. She fell out a tree, bit her lip. Uh huh. Fell out a tree, bit her lips. Now she got a, a lip scar. Real bad. Lost part of my lip that day. I lost a tooth and a part of the lip. You wanna know how I got this scar? Yeah. Dollar Tree bit my lip. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> you wanna know how I got this scar? Bear attack. You wanna know how I got this scar? This dog one, attack. Dog, dog got a little excited. Got a little, little excited. Got a little excited. You no, know I got this one. Fell out a tree. Bit my lip. Bit my lip. <laughs> <laughs> I love Here it. Here we go. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. And that. He's Lorna Nurins. You know how I got this scar? Bear attack. You know how I got this scar? Dog got a little too excited. You know how I got this scar? Fell out of a tree. Bit the lip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you start with a really intense one, <laughs> just, and then it just goes down and down <laughs> to like dumber and dumber scars. It's like the biggest one on her back is like dragon attack. This one on her arm, Drag bear attack. Dragon attack, my village barely got out with my life. This one, bear came at me full speed, mm. cut my... Cut right here. Right across the this one, dog got left side. Tree, loose side. This, this one, one fell out of tree. tree. Bit my lip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the stories as she tells the children every day. And they're all like, uh, come on. We've heard this so many times. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It happened. And that, okay. ladies and gentlemen, is the high elf, com compassionate high elf ranger from a strict monastery. Who moonlights as a private investigator, also known as Sister Lorna Norris, aka the Holy Knight. Ooh. And her and her companion. His uh, name is Rufus, Rufus de Bear, aka Silent Knight. <laughs> Silent Knight. <laughs> she is a. She's a half elf ranger. Half elf ranger. But you already said that. Uh, cat capacity for kids. Uh, um, didn't know her father. Mother know. died at fifteen and a half. Mm -hmm. Fifteen three quarters, if you if you can. Uh, her she lost her home when her mother died. Lost her home. Lost her home when her mother mother died. When her when her mother died, she lost her sense of self, sense of purpose. Yeah. Didn't really know what sense to do after that. Sense of home. Sense of home. Became a wild child because of that. Yeah. She got got some scrapes. Yeah, it's good. Got some scrapes. Fell out of the tree. Bit her lip. And uh, when she was uh, wait, what's the name of the town? Uh, get gal. Oh damn it, we forgot. I forgot to write it down. It was it was sorry with the G, I know that I know that much. Galspar? Yeah, Galspar. From she's from Galspar. Uh a uh, run down town. She got there and then uh run downtown. She probably helped save the 
mm-hmm. the monastery, monastery, which you got there, and then they were like, you should stick around. Stick around. I would see good in you. She's like, no. You don't need someone like me. They're someone. like, no, really. And she's like, what, really? Yeah. We can be like a family. We can be like a family. A family. Family. Yeah. Wow. And he was like the father she never had. Amen to that. And that, and her, and that was a... Uh, His name was uh, Father Sim, Simeon. Fa- fa- father Father Thais. Simathias. Father Simathias. And he was, um... He was an elf. He was an elf. Just like her dad. Just like her but dad. it's not the same guy. So not the same dude. I, I know Reddit's tweeting up Storm. Don't even get started. Father Simathias is not her father. Even though she look, they look some, some, somewhat alike. But that's just racist. I mean... All elves, am I right? I am. Yeah, I'm not doubting that either. Um, what else do we have right now? Uh, she came up... Well, when some kids started going missing and started uh, acting up and in uh, repping the the baddies, kids that used to be real good kids, but then suddenly yeah. they just start going bad. And then she became a private investigator, became a private investigator. and yeah. just cracking skulls. Pa! Went after the one. Where are they? Yeah. Where are, Where are the kids? Where are they? Where are they? She's got a whisper voice. That, that's that's really her whisper. <laughs> yeah, she. This, well, that's she normal whispers. That's a character quirk. She, she whispers when she speaks. <laughs> she. She's like. <laughs> No, I'm bad. I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, we don't know how tall she is. How tall is she? Um, I say she's oh, average I'm height. Pretty tall. Right Let's now. look at average height. That's real short. Oh, was it one D two? That's dwarfs. No, you're looking at. I'm looking at elves. That's four six. Four so six. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Roll, roll. What? I don't now? have my dice with me. Damn it. I can go get it. Oh, I can actually roll the dice right here. Two D ten. Oh, roll two D. Uh, 2d10, I got a 2 and an 8, which I have not be. So that's 10. So that's 5'4. She's 5'4? Yeah. Alright, she's 5'4. She's pretty short. She's pretty short. <laughs> Sorry if you guys are shorter than that, Marilyn. Wow. She's, she's shorter than Marilyn, isn't she? Mm hmm. Wow. Alright, she's compassionate, man. Hey, you gotta be light on your feet if you wanna be a ranger. Yeah. We made her out to be so fucking strict and badass. Now she's short as fuck. <laughs> and very thin, too. <laughs> so that's fine. Alright. Hair color. Chestnut. She's got chestnut hair. Chestnut hair. Eye color. Oh, she's got green eyes. Green eyes. Nice. Green eyes will color skin. I'd say she's got light skin. Light skin? She a wood elf or a high elf? I seem wood elf. I was thinking high elf the whole time. Okay, high elf works. Wait, high elf are much taller. Yeah, you know what? Let's take wood elf. Because, you know, she's a ranger. She's a ranger, yeah. That's her thing. Uh, uh, a high elf ranger. That'd be, no, that's that's uh, Legolas. <laughs> no, he's a wood elf. He's a wood elf? Of the woodland realm. Huh. Okay. She's uh, got freckles on Freckles. God damn it. You're making my goddamn and, 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 character. And, and, and on their shoulders. Okay, she got freckles. Oh, she has freckles on her face and shoulders. Sweet. Oh, I love that so much. Not um, like, not like the full freckle face, just like around here. Around the, around the chest, yeah. That's the kind of that's the kind just of, kind of I a, love the most. She's got a pretty decent build for, uh, yeah, because she's half elf, half human, and she's also a ranger. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, yeah. What is her favorite food? Her favorite food mm-hmm. is the blood of Christ, the blood and bones of Christ, the, 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 this body of Christ, the body of Christ. She likes fish. So Any kind of fish. Fish. Fish dish. Take her on a date. Favorite food is fish. Write that shit down. Favorite uh-huh. food? Fish. Fish. I'll just write fish. <laughs> because she grew Didn't up... draw a picture of a fish. She grew up near, next to a river. Yeah. you think she'd hate fish, but no, she'd love it. She doesn't get it as often. Yeah. Yeah, cause since she moved to, this, to the town, she didn't get fish. Second favorite? Bear. Second favorite? Bear. Grilled bear, specifically. Oh, fuck. Well, it should have been grilled bear favorite food. But you can't... Oh, damn it. It just doesn't happen that often. You can't say it's your favorite if you're never going to eat it. Dude, my favorite food is steak. I don't eat it very often, though. I guess that's true. Okay. Favorite food? Fish. Hobbies. Wrestling bears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at, at five fucking four. Or 5.30 at best. Oh, God. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that has been... Who the fuck? What? Like, who the fuck? Get the title what, down. Wait, you always flounder on the title. Who the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Where the fuck are you from? Who the fuck are you? Who, what? Who the? Did you write this how down? The fuck is your... 
the fuck is your backstory? What the? What the fuck? There it is. WTF is your backstory. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is such an obvious one? What the fuck? What the fuck is your backstory? What the fuck with Mark Marin is your backstory? Yeah, that was WTF is your backstory and working titles and whatnot. And I think we did pretty good. That was actually pretty fun. Much more fun than I expected. Better than the last time we tried something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We tried playing actual Dungeons and Dragons. Mal's game was good. Mine. No, no, I meant the one we didn't release because it was so bad. What, what was that? The one about the car- the monsters. That we were oh, playing. the Imlo? Oh, yeah. I still have that. Yeah. I just needed to edit it. I don't know how soon I'm going to be edit edit that thing. <laughs> like, I really want to edit it, but it's like it's so yeah. long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was only supposed to be 30 minutes, it took an hour. It's been an hour. Well, now we know what we're doing. All right, now so, we know. So next time... Next time. We gotta pl- you got to plan out the questions ahead of time. I really do. I really do. Because... Yeah. Otherwise, we're I'm just... I'm ADD. Like, me too, me too, but you have a better grasp on things that we had just said, because, like, I don't remember a good bit yeah, of... Yeah, and I have ADD. Get it? This guy... That's what I think, guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching uh, this pilot episode of Who the Fuck is Your God Damn It? What the Fuck is Your Background? Backstory. What What the Fuck is Your Backstory? (laughs) Or Where the Fuck Are You From? Or Where did you come from? Where did you go? Cotton. Where did you come from? Cotton. I just Sister Lorna and Narice. Sister Lorna and Narice. (laughs) <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for watching yeah and i should have said this uh this this first but here on the show your backstory is what comes first speaking of coming first this hey. is the end uh peace but stay mysterious peace it wasn't sex and mysterious pieces bye